Threadneedle Street, an Echo Bizarre fanfic, written by Ellie Murasaki, read by Sister of War. Pairing, player, the struggling artist, rating, mature audiences only. She takes him down to the Medusa's head on Watchmaker's Hill for a pint, or three, Apparently it takes three pints for him to survive watching the fight she gets into. Afterwards, he can't get it up for her. He goes back to his rented room in Vale Garden in disgust with himself, ignoring her insistence that he stay. She takes him to the observatory to pull ambulatory fungus things off the walls. In her cottage nearby, he lays her down on the bed and fucks her till she can't stand. She takes him to Bugsby's Reach, puts a bucket upside down in his head, and shoots a bottle off the bucket. He's shaking so hard the bottle nearly falls off before she has a chance to shatter it. But he does bet on his own success at shooting bottles off the end of the pier, and he wins. After, she pushes him down on the bed and sucks his charm until it spurts all over her face. He's never asked anyone to do that for him before, because he can't afford someone with scarlet stockings, and who else would? Apparently, she would. Speaking of scarlet stockings, an older woman, wearing same, requests the services of a bodyguard. She, his she, accepts, and brings him along. He gets some fine sketches of the woman out of it, and sells one to the woman for a handful of jade. Later, his she takes him back to the cottage and directs him through licking her malt. It's surprisingly arousing, it tastes good, she's in paradise and he's astonished, but she utterly unsurprised, when he comes without even the chance to fuck her properly. She storms into his lodgings one day, swearing about rats. He goes back to the cottage with her, and sure enough, rats upon rats upon rats. Well, that's what he has a knife for. She kills more rats than he, and when the rats concede, at least for the evening, they dine upon dead rat, and he invites her back to his rat-free room for the night. She accepts graciously, and the moment they're inside, she drags him into the bath with her. Fucking standing up, who knew? The rats take some days to clear out for good. Meanwhile, she introduces him to fucking with her on top, fucking her up the bum, and a rubber contraption resembling a charmer that she straps onto herself with the intent that she fuck him. To that last, he says a flat no. She's gone the same evening, and she never returns. The End